country, and that is in relation to the proposal by the government to have all the millers sell the actually a packet of maize flour for 75 shillings. Well, our reporter Tanya Yego went out to just get some views on Kenyans and uh, take stock of what this means. Uh, I'm thankful that uh, you know the government is uh, has come to the awakening that Kenyans uh, they've been really been suffering. I being one of them, and uh, you know capping the price of hunger at 75 shillings for me it's a plus. You know bearing in the the, uh, the times that we are in. Sasa mimi naona hiyo ni mzuri sana na hiyo ni maendeleo wananchi. Unaelewa? Sio unga peke yake, sukari, chakula zote ni mzuri aende chini. It's a good thing the government at least wamefikiria the common mwananchi wameteremsha price ya unga chini to 75 I guess. So that's a good thing uh, compared to it was 90 before. So like uh, common mwananchi and is afford at least kukula something. Yes. Wakati Kinjuri alisema unga itashuka mpaka bei ya 75 75 shillings na gunia ikuje 1600 bado hatujaona mabandiliko kwa sababu kama mimi jana nilinunua gunia moja 23 2300 mimi usiaga mimi niko na portion mimi kwa hivyo ikitaremka tutafurahi lakini huko mashinani maybe wataweza bei ile wanataka tu eh, kwa sababu siku hizi hakuna control ya vitu well, our reporter Tandio Yego is joining us live from our city center studios now just to give us the latest from this. And uh, good afternoon, Tandio. You've been making rounds throughout uh, the morning. And uh, how is this going to be implemented, especially with the fact that uh, we have 3.5 billion shillings that is yet to be paid to farmers who supplied maize to NCPB in the same vein, we are seeing the government saying they want to reduce the cost of maize flour from the current about 100 shillings to 75 shillings. Good afternoon, Abby. It is definitely a good day for Kenyans. However, it is not a good day for the farmers as we are going to see their returns suffering, Abby. And I had a conversation with a few retail retailers within the CBD and they have in fact notified me that the change has yet to be implemented within the supermarkets. I saw the price of base flour is still going from around 83 to 87 Kenya shillings, about 127 for the much more expensive brands, Abby. But according to managers at some of these retailers, they tell me that they have not gotten the mandate from the millers to reduce the price. Until that happens, the prices will remain the same and we'll probably see the change become in effect by next month. Abby, back to you. Well, uh, Tanil, just before we let you go, uh, just uh, talk to us about uh, from the various feedback you're getting from Kenyans, it's totally a divided kind of scenario where you're seeing some saying that they are okay with the price reduction, but how practical is this for a packet of maize flour to come down to 75 shillings, bearing in mind that uh, the farmers are currently not getting the best prices per bag? Mm -hmm. Yes, Abby, definitely, as you have seen from Kenyon's opinion, some of them believe that this is just talk for now, and they're not really seeing that this price reduction is going to be, be implemented. And as I said, I spoke to some retailers within the CBD and they informed me that the price will not come down until the millers reduce their prices. So once the millers reduce the prices that they're selling to retailers, then that is when we're going to see the price change come into effect. Back. Tandio Yego, they are just giving us some interesting perspectives into this unfolding story in terms of the maize prices that are expected to be reduced.